So let's see, our water's boiling over here. And as the water begins to boil, you see something coming out the top here. What is this? It's steam? It's water vapor? It's gas? Well, in fact, the gas is coming off, and steam is coming out of that nozzle. But you know, steam is actually an invisible gas. You can't see steam. There's steam inside of here, and it's perfectly uh, clear and colorless, and you don't see it. What you're actually seeing up here is when the steam comes in contact with the air, the air is much uh, cooler than the steam, as you would expect. So uh, the steam is cooled down, and it changes back into a liquid. So it changes from a gas, steam, back into liquid water, but not this kind of water, little tiny, tiny droplets of water. And that's what makes up a cloud, in fact, tiny droplets of liquid water. So that's what you're seeing. You're seeing uh, the water vapor that was in the air being condensed into tiny droplets of liquid water. And also the, the water in the steam is uh, changing back into uh, liquid water. So it's been boiling quite a while. And um, at this point, I want to turn off the, uh, the heat underneath and let the boiling stop. Um, of course, when the heat goes off, uh, it will eventually stop boiling. And um, once it stops, what is going to be inside this flask? Water. Uh, but wa there's two kinds of water. There's uh, liquid water, but there's also gaseous water, namely steam. And so once we get some steam in there, uh, what I want to do is close this little valve on the top. And then we will have a container that has liquid water and has gaseous water in it, and not much of anything else. There may still be a little bit of air in there, but not too much. So let me close this. And once this is closed, I'm then going to take some ice, a little uh, jug here. I want to pour the water out because some of it's melted, and put some ice around it. And you'll see a very interesting thing. You see the water beginning to boil? Get the burner out from beneath it. Uh, the water, in fact, is boiling uh, when we put the ice on it. And that's pretty remarkable. Normally, you think you have to heat something to make it boil. But here, we made something boil by cooling it with the ice. And so uh, a lot of the things you think you understand, perhaps, about liquids and gases and solids are, in fact, not quite right. And the reason it's boiling is the same reason it boiled back here. Because once we cool down the steam, it condenses back into liquid water. And that leaves a partial vacuum in the flask. Because there's a partial vacuum, that reduces the pressure, much as it did over here. And once you reduce the pressure, water will boil at a lower temperature. And here the water is boiling at a much lower temperature than it was before when we were heating it from below. And to show you that, in fact, that's what's happening, I can open this to the air. And air goes in, and that causes the boiling to stop. And so uh, this is simply another explanation of the same thing. We have over here succeeded in boiling something and freezing it without any source of heat or refrigeration. And here we actually boiled something using something cold, namely ice. So it is not true that you need to heat something to make it boil. There are other ways to make things boil. 